For this exercise, use a fabric glute band and place it roughly two inches above your knees. Sit back against the bench or box and place your arms directly by your side. Where your fingertips hit is where you are going to place your heels. Your feet should be shoulder width apart. Toes pointed outward at a 45 degree angle and press your knee out against the band the entire time. The box or bench that you're using should be roughly 12 to 18 inches in height. You want to make sure that the bottom of your shoulder blade is placed at the edge of the bench. So this is the positioning that it should look like when you're at the top of the movement. Your knee should be at roughly a 90 degree angle. So you're gonna roll the barbell over your hips. Make sure you're using the large bumper plates so that you can roll the barbell on and off. Prop yourself up with your elbows onto the bench. Again, bottom of your shoulder blades on the bench. Feet hip width apart, press your knees out against the band. You're gonna come up to the top of a hip thrust motion by squeezing your glutes. And then you're only gonna come down about six inches or halfway. And then you're gonna come right back up. You know to stop lowering the barbell once your knees start to travel behind your ankles. So your knees should stay above your ankles the entire time. The biggest difference is that a cast hip thrust is only a partial range of motion. So it's the top range of motion of a normal hip thrust. So the tempo is a three second hold at the top of each rep. Slowly lower the barbell down about halfway and then come right back up, hold it three seconds. Exhale as you come up and then inhale as you come down. <laughs> 